Good morning, folks. We've got a deadly landslide, deadly weather, equally negative news on space radiation and your bones, but we've also got space weather. Let's start at spaceweathernews.com and check out the last 24 hours on our star. Somewhat calm, except for the northeastern limb, top left. The filaments are shifting, but not ejecting at Earth. Meanwhile, the coronal holes have found equatorial latitudes this pass and will be impacting Earth with their streams for a few days. It began a few hours ago as a small density shock wave was followed by a surge in plasma speed. This is expected to intensify throughout the day, but the storms have already begun. That was the alert you guys got through the app this morning. Looking to Soho, where bright Venus on the right actually watches little Mercury tracking to the right above it from our perspective. On the left side, we have Saturn off in the distance, five days from conjunction with our star, and those brighter clouds bottom left are the Milky Way galaxy. Remember, the sun aligns with it at the end of every year. Let's come now to somber news. After light rainfall in a Chilean valley was dwarfed by downpours on the mountains above, almost an entire face slid off in a tremendous mudslide that has taken at least five lives and destroyed a number of homes. This military helicopter footage shows houses demolished or knocked off their foundations and slid down the street. Best of luck to all in the cleanup. Moving on to India, where a cold wave has turned deadly there. They haven't even taken the polar vortex to that portion of the world just yet. It is just now exiting the Americas and heading east. Top story extends converging space radiation studies. We know microgravity causes bone and muscle loss. We know space radiation causes bone marrow death. And meeting here, VCU has discovered that space radiation also causes the bone loss that you can see in microgravity. This complicates an already dreadful conundrum about protecting astronauts, especially on a Mars mission where the time out there will require major shielding upgrades. Website members, your podcast was released around lunchtime yesterday, but around lunchtime today, I'll be posting a deeper look about an anomaly that just took place about 500 kilometers beneath our feet. Anyone eager to jump in and get involved, this would be the time as will community coordinate to gauge the significance of the anomaly. From solar storms to earthquakes, magnetic reversal, electric universe, and more, all at layman level understanding, the Awake event of the year hits Albuquerque, New Mexico, President's Day weekend 2018. Hope to see you there. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.